Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Bit of a different video for you today. This is a repair video. Now, I was doing some work on my uh, Honda generator and one of the, I was basically just giving it a service, but I thought while I was giving it a service, I would do the tappets. I snapped the stud off or the nut off to the rocker cover. Now, it's not the end of the world, it's an aluminium head. So what we're gonna do is do a thread repair. I'm gonna put a helicoil in it and just show you how to do it. It's really easy to do and it's one of those things that, you know, if you're working on engines of any description, you should be able to, you know, be able to helicoil it, repair it, carry on with your job instead of going, ah, I broke it. This was a pig, all, all three of them came out and this top stud was just so tight. I worked it for ages and it just snapped off in the end. So uh, yeah, let's crack on with doing this repair. Now before I show you what you actually need to do the job, there is the offending stud. Now I've already drilled it out before I got the camera. Um, I was just going to crack on with it and I thought this will make an interesting video. But I've cleaned out all the other threads. I've just put an M6 by one um, tap into those, clean the threads out so they're all nice. And I, like I say, I've already drilled this out because I thought I could actually get it out, but it isn't going to come out. I'm going to have to helicoil it. So we're actually going to drill that hole out bigger anyway. So let me show you what you need to do it. So to do a, a thread repair, you need a thread repair kit. And this is a brand new thread repair kit because I had to order it because I had no M6. I had every other size but M6 and it was just easier to buy a whole set. So all you need to actually do the thread, thread repair is that and a drill. So uh, I'll show you what a small kit looks like because this is, this is uh, I think this is from 5 all the way up to, is it M12? M12. So you've got all the different sizes that might be M10 actually. Let me just have a look. Yeah, so you've got 5, 6, 8, 10 and 12, all common sizes that you need, especially if you're working on a Land Rover as well. Uh, with the engines being aluminium, or at least parts of the engine being aluminium, this is a useful kit to have. And it's like 30 quid off Amazon. So uh, I'll show you what a small kit looks like. So this is a small kit. So that's the instructions for doing it, but that's a small kit. Exactly the same, you've got a drill, a tap, some th repair, uh, thread repair sets, the tool to put it in, and a punch. And that's the same on all the kits. There's a Nielsen one, that's um, just the same again. It's a drill, a tap, some thread repairs, the tool to insert, and a punch. And that's it. They're all pretty much the same. That's an expensive one. That's a fairly cheap one. And this is a fairly cheap kit as well at 30 quid. So uh, yeah, let's get this repaired. Just before we start the repair, the first thing you need to do is actually determine what size uh, the thread is. And I know it's M6, so it's this one. So we need the drill to start with for the M6. So we know this is the bit we're going to be repairing. So we need to drill that out. Now I've already got this fairly square, so I'll be, I should be able to just put this drill in, drill straight through. So that's what I'm going to do first, it's actually just drill that out. I'll get the camera in close so you can see it. So we want to drill this nice and square. And that's what, what I thought it was going to do, because it's been pre-drilled and it's very close. Because this is aluminium and there's still a piece of steel in there, it's going to want to keep, keep throwing it sideways. So it's going to be a case of just getting this to, get, get this to start. We're nearly all the way through. And 
that's it we're all the way through and that's a nice clean hole so the next step so now we've drilled that we've got to tap it so next bit get the tap and you will need a tap tool to do this and it just so happens that I do have the tool for the job now you can put a bit of oil on this um, don't think it'll need it it's a very short piece of thread and um, it is a good idea to put some oil on so we will uh, let me just go and find some oil I haven't got any to hand uh, I found a little bit of spray lube that'll do it doesn't take a lot like I say it's a very short thread this is so it's uh, not going to be too much of a challenge it's just starting it off square nice and square and get that to start cutting and this aluminium is very soft and once it's got going just ease it in backwards and forwards just keep the threads clean cutting nicely and you see it's just cutting a new thread in there we'll put a bit more lube on that won't hurt that's what she said anyway And we're nearly all the way through. Aluminium is very easy to do anyway because it's infinitely softer than steel while you're cutting these. And that's it, we're all the way out the back. Clean the thread up till it stops. And that's it, that's as far as we can go. <laughs> Lovely. And there's our new thread cut. And then we just put the insert in. So the next part of the job, you need the insert tool and one of the new threads or the thread insert and you literally is that going to focus for you just sit on the there's the tang on the thread just locates like that and now you can just screw it in now it's on the tang you've got this is basically just a screwdriver stay focused there And if you've got a specific depth that you need to, there is a t this can be set to a depth, so you know if you've got to go so far into something. This doesn't matter, we can actually see how far it's going in. So let's screw this in, and this job's done, it's repaired. This is nothing more than a glorified screwdriver. And we're just going to wind that in. Just till it's just below the surface. That's where we need it. That's it. The repair is complete bar one thing. So once you put your thread in, you need this punch. 
and the punch knocks the tang off. There goes my oil. There you go, that's the tang knocked off. And once the tang's knocked off the back, there's, that thread will not come out, it's now locked in place. So that's it, the repair is complete. Just to prove that the, it is now a thread again, there we go, we can thread a bolt into it. Sorted. I've now fixed my generator for the blackouts over the winter. There you go guys, all fixed. And how useful is that kit? Uh, that was £30 off Amazon that was. Uh, so useful to have in your workshop. The amount of times that you, you, know, you strip something or damage a thread, that just you know, gets you out of the, uh, the mire or you know, whatever I was just about to say. So if you've enjoyed that guys, make sure you give me that thumbs up, make sure you've clicked on that notification bell, make sure you subscribed and I'll see you on the next one. <music>